Faraday's law gives us the size of the EMF. But what about the direction? Heinrich Lenz worked out a physical interpretation of the fact that the induced EMF and the change in flux have opposite algebraic signs. We can illustrate Lenz's law with the experiment shown in the diagram, with a loop of wire and an approaching magnet. Let's step through Lenz's law a bit at a time. The approaching magnet means an increasing magnetic field strength with the field pointing downwards, away from the north pole of the permanent magnet. This means increasing magnetic flux downwards through the loop. A current is then induced in that loop, and its direction must produce a magnetic field that opposes the change we are making. That means it must be creating some magnetic flux upwards. And using the right-hand grip rule, we can see that the current would be anti-clockwise. If the magnet is moved away and the flux downwards through the loop decreases, the induced magnetic field will increase the downwards flux. The current now moves clockwise. Another way you can think about it is that the induced magnetic field must be making it harder to move the magnet closer. The way it does that is to create a magnetic field with the north pole upwards, nearest the permanent magnet. Then the induced north pole repulses the approaching north pole and makes it harder to move the magnet. In the same way, if we try to move the magnet away, the current changes direction to create a south pole at the top to attract the magnet and make it harder to remove it. It works like friction, always opposing the motion. It must work that way because of conservation of energy. Because if, just by beginning to move the magnet closer, a magnetic field was created that accelerated the magnet in the same direction, the magnet would be accelerating without any external force acting on it. The energy to move the magnet would be coming out of nowhere. Instead, a magnetic force always appears that opposes the motion or opposes a change in flux.